Well, Frank, I first learned when uh, Gilly Sullivan called me from University of Virginia and asked me if it'd be all right if they placed my name in nomination. I, I was, of course, very honored and uh, humbly so that Virginia con would consider me as a nominee for this award. You've been here at Washington and Lee just how long? Well, this is my ninth year at Washington and Lee. And the award that you've been nominated for has not only to do with your 1940 and after football record, it's got a lot to do with the job you've done here at Washington and Lee. Would you tell us a little about it? Well, uh, the job that I took on here at Washington and Lee, I took on with the aid and assistance of uh, a lot of wonderful people who have tried hard to uh, make our football a meaningful thing in, uh, in the game today, and I think it has become just that. We have we play a completely non-subsidized program, uh, and this is, uh, we are, are doing exactly what we say here, and it is non-subsidized. As you and I counted up just a moment ago, we have only two boys on the first 22 that are getting any aid at all, and one of these weighs 142 pounds. Uh, we are, uh, uh, we think we're doing something significant in the, in the, in the football today, and uh, we're not the only ones doing it, but perhaps unique in this area. Mm -hmm. I think quite a yes, we we started this with only four schools, and Washington University later joined into our uh, conference. But the base, some of the substance of the, our conference, the basis of it is that we are uh, non-subsidizing. That no one is giving any aid, uh, which would encourage him to come out or be conditioned upon his going out for. Or any athletic team. And the well, of course, the rules allow you to play a lot more boys, and you do play a lot more. We have about 85 boys competing in, uh, in football here. We have around 350 competing in college athletics, one way or another. It's not about a third of our student body. And uh, the game has changed a lot, as you say. It's a lot more sophisticated now. And uh, yet I think that, the, uh, of course, there are things like weightlifting. It was taboo when I was playing, and I think this makes boys better athletes than they were in the past, although running and those things uh, were very much part of it. And perhaps we did some uh, weightlifting in those days without even knowing it. Uh, as we worked in the summer at one thing or another, and we certainly uh, did some isometrics when we tried to lift things that we weren't able to lift. Uh, we took it, uh, I think, as serious, certainly as serious as the boys do now. Uh, but the boys are bigger, there's no question about that. And we have to look at the pros to see that. I uh, was not one of the bigger boys when I played it, uh, in the pros myself. I was not too small, and I think I probably would be considered too small at around 2.30 now.